Visual Basic .NET 2012 Part 19 Input Box Using For Loop. This is this tutorial mainly I am taking for beginners those who are not familiar with VB Visual Basic that people only this way. So here I am teaching how we can use the input box and using the input box I am how I am getting value how I am using for loop also. This is very beginning uh, tutorial. So now I can see how it is working. First I will show. Then I will explain the coding. First I will run this particular thing. This is my thing. I am entering how many loops I want. How many times the for loop should work. Two times. And mouse click. You see the loop will execute two times. I give OK. I am entering the value. This is my input box. This is my title. Input box title. This is my input box prompt. People will say otherwise we can say message of the input box. This is my two buttons. Here I want to enter the value. Input box is nothing but interactive text box. So user interactive. So I am giving first value 3, second value 4. Now you can see the total value entered here is 7. I am giving OK. Now it is automatically in. Again I will put 3 values. Three times I want to execute now for loop. I click three times. The loop will execute three times. Now first value is one. Second value is two. Third value is three. Now how many values? Six. So I am getting the message box. So this is for what exactly the coding here. The coding is this. First I am declaring two variables. R and S as a variable. What I am doing here is nothing but. Here I am declaring variables and then I am getting list box 1 should be enabled because if you see whenever I am running, running time, you can see here I will enter two values. I will click it. The loop will execute 1 and 2. Automatically after finishing what happened? It is clearing and disabling. So this never happens. So that's why I am giving, enabling the list box 1. Then value whatever I am entering the value here. Then I am clicking to the the particular text box, I am entering the value. How many times my loop should be filled? So I am entering 2, 3, that message box is appearing. The for loop I am getting. So that many times, how many times I am entering in the text box, that many times my for loop will go. So that's why I am receiving value from that or. Enter the value, first value, I am entering input box, I am storing in one variable called D. In the D, I am adding that value into what? List box. So whatever value I am getting, that's why I am adding it. Then I am making total. After making total, what I am doing? The message box, it is showing the total value entered. Then I am enabling the false value. So then I am clearing all the items in the box. Once again, I will choose. Then you have the idea. So first, whatever I am doing, I am entering the value here. 2, I mouse click. So it will give 2 times it will execute. Whatever the time, I will enter first value 1, second value 2. So I will say OK. Immediately it will come. It will be OK. Then it will come in clearing. Clearing the thing and it will enable. This is what I am doing for the for loop and input.